everybody, it's Rory from a and Gear and PB Nation. We're here with Ryan Greenspan in the HK Army booth. We're going to take a look at the new HK loader, the TFX. He's going to give us some of the details about it. Ryan? All right, what I got right here in this XO box is the TFX loader. It comes uh, standard with this case, which you can uh, you can use to put anything in. Obviously, it goes with the loader. <clears throat> hold it. Yeah, why do you go and hold that? All right. All right, so here it is, the TFX, the unveiling right here. This is the one model with the speed feed. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and take it apart for you and show you some of the workings on the inside of it. So first, uh, it's super easy to take apart. Um, you just pop this off here and the entire top comes off. So it's really easy to maintain and clean. Uh, so that's really big. Yeah. Um, if you ever break paint or you have an issue, this pops right off. You don't have to worry about reaching your hand through a little hole or anything like that. Um, also, hold this for one second. Yeah. Uh, if it does rain, if you're in a, in a rainy climate, uh, unlike San Diego, right. uh, if you ever need to change the, the top, the lid, it actually just pops right off. Uh, super easy to change. You just push a little button, and you can put on a lid or your speed feed right back on there. So I'm going to trade you again. All right. So now to the inner workings of the loader. Uh, it takes uh, two AA batteries, a uh, button push right here. Uh, to take it apart, you just pull this tray, and I'm going to trade you again. I'll take so that one. Pile everything up on you. We'll stick it right here. <clears throat> so now what we have is uh, there's a patented uh, elevator technology right here. What it is is this this tray uh, rises and uh, and lowers. So it actually, the low profile that everybody sees, and a lot of people have commented on it, like, wow, that's a really low profile. It must not hold very much paint. Whereas, in fact, because of this, uh, this lever technology here, which actually holds more paintballs, and it'll, right. it'll help to, to push them in as, as, as you get lower right. on the paint. It'll lift them up yeah. and into the cup. Exactly. Uh, back here is where your two batteries go, um, your two AA batteries. And it'll, get, it'll get you about 2,000 shots. <clears throat> and, and what helps with the battery life is right here, the, uh, the loader's actually... Uh, hinged on a, on a little micro switch, right. so it's pressure sensitive. So whenever there's a ball in there, it obviously stops spinning. Right. So, um, you know, some are sound activated, some are vibration, some are uh, the, uh, the eye or something. But this is actually a new take on a micro switch, which uh, helps with the, conserve the battery power. Right. Uh, the next thing is when you want to take this apart further to get it cleaned out, if there's ever an issue, you just pop this up and, and the, the, the tray comes right out and it's super easy to clean. Um, uh, you know, Are you going to put it back in there? Yeah, I'm going to put it back in there. For All right. Because now we're going back to reassembling it. Again, just push it up, and it's back in. Now, some people ask about jams. It does have anti-jam technology. There are actually three, uh, three layers to this. <clears throat> so if there was a jam, it automatically uh, engages the bottom, the bottom spring, and that'll push that jam by. Right. If there is a further problem, it does have a reverse uh, button here right. as well. So it'll, it'll, it's an anti-jam reverse button. Uh, now, for those of you guys who have brittle paint, sometimes it is cold. Like for instance, here outside, right. it's uh, it's negative. Super degrees, cold right now. A lot colder than I'm used to. <clears throat> it does have a tension control system, which is just uh, adjusted right here. There's three levels of tension, so you can always crank it up all the way if you want to have it shoot really, really fast and you're not worried about breaking paint and whatnot. Right. So, uh, it's one of the coolest designs I've seen. It takes the best parts of of pretty much every loader out there and it, it, it kind of really puts them all together. Right. Um, I've tested, I've been testing this thing out for, for months now. Uh, literally, my job, uh, aside from giving in input as far as what works and what doesn't, is trying to break it also. Um, I have not been able to break it. I've shot hundreds of paintballs into it, at it, and around it. Um, I've thrown it on the ground, much to their uh, <laughs> discomfort. I've definitely got some winges out of yeah, the game, sure. guys. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, because I want to make sure that this thing's ready to ready to play in tournaments. And, right. Uh, the guys are actually going to be using it in Dallas in uh, was that two weeks, three weeks? Coming right up. So um, we're really stoked to use it, and uh, I'm really happy about this loader. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks Ryan for giving us some information on the new TFX loader. Check this out and all the other HK products at ansgear.com.